Hi guys, happy Saturday. So I'm gonna be doing what I'm hoping is going to be a quick video. Um, so we'll see, I know I tend to kind of make these go a little long, so I'm trying not to do that today. Um, I have actually already done my pre-makeup routine, which is my setting spray. I use Scandinavia because I do have oily skin on my T-zone. Um, and then I use primer. I actually used two different primers today. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop is amazing and it really blurs my pores. Ignore the craziness. I'll explain it. Um, and then I also used my Elemis that I got um, like 70% off because it's, it, it's crazy expensive. So I, I can't justify the price. It's good. It's just not that good. Um, and then I go back in with setting spray. And then what I have on here is actually a another NYX product. It's the NYX Professional Makeup Paint Pot Eyeshadow Base. So I saw a thing on TikTok where it said like if you have like, you know, a little bit of acne going on and then like some texture to put it there and it offers like an amazing base. So I've actually been doing that and it, it really does. Um, but the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, I do want to kind of point out, anybody who wants to use it, it's super drying. So if you have dry skin, I don't personally suggest it. But you have dry skin, you shouldn't have large pores. But if you have an oily T-zone like me and then you have larger pores, like it really does help blur them so much. Beauty filter is not on. You get to see me in all of my glory and my, my holy shirt because I've got to run some errands and... Let's just get into it. So I've got this on, you put it on, and like I do smooth that out here because I'm not covering acne there, but I had like two hormonal breakouts here and here, and it's supposed to like give you a flatter surface. We're gonna try it out. Um, I got a new foundation that I'm gonna be trying out. So it is the Unique uh, Stick Foundation in the shade Scarlet. I do have their Mineral Touch Foundation, um, and I love that one. And then I've also got, and maybe I'll do a video tomorrow on it, I've got their spray foundation also in Scarlet. Um, so I'll give both of those a try. I really like the products. Um, I use quite a bit of Unique at this point. I will say I, I typically don't order from Unique. I order from Macari or eBay. Just because A, I wanna try the products. Now that, I've, now that I know I like them, of course I'll order from them because I can get out of a discount with the other ones brand new. And try it out and then if I hate it and it's like oh I'm out 20 bucks versus 40 or um, I want to say this one's like 38 and the sprays like 42 um, I got the spray for like 30 ish and then this was like 20 ish I think so we're gonna try it out I have not used this yet I just opened it took the cap off um let's try it out this is supposed to be like super full covered which I need um, just I just have some discoloration just naturally I've got a bunch of freckles so I'm just kind of going through and making little lines definitely around my eyes I do own their concealer I typically don't use it um, at least not traditionally um, I just find it super drying on my skin that's just me it's pretty good um, but I do mix it in with my, what is it, the Unique Liquid Foundation. I also got a new brush from Target because I love brushes in Target. And I usually use my Jeffree Star. This one's actually pretty good. This first time I'm using it, feels super soft and dense, which you want in a foundation brush. That's actually pretty decent coverage. Um, so this is supposed to be like their fuller coverage. So is the spray. I do find the liquid foundation, while I do love it, because it actually does give me really good coverage. Um, but I actually find that it's more like medium coverage where I really do want full coverage working in the hospitals. You know, you really want something that's gonna stick on there. So I'm just gonna kind of get this in and then I'll have a look at it to see if I wanna add any more. So I usually go with Organza, which is like two, like literally two tones darker. And it's also got a pink undertone, which I have. Um, the Scarlet's not bad. I will say it's definitely lighter than me, which is kind of shocking because I'm so pale. Um, I also have a new light, so the lighting should be a lot better. Um, I will say their products are very shiny, but as long as you set it, it, it goes away really fast. Stick out the acne. I mean, it definitely like covered it a little. Um, 
maybe if I use something like a MAC Painterly Pot. I do know you're supposed to use the pot versus like the tube concealer because I guess it's thicker and the tube's more of a liquid concealer. Um, I typically don't wear concealer just because I don't have dark under eyes, I just have lines. But the more product you use, the more your lines are gonna stand out. So I'm really trying to find a balance. All right. Ooh. And I mean, it did cover up all of that eyeshadow base. So I'm happy about that. I'm just gonna pop over to my mirror really, actually here, I have my Jeffree Star mirror that finally came in, so. Hi, how are you? I actually love this mirror. Like it's so comfortable to hold. Um, you know, my husband says it's too small, but honestly, like it's not bad. Like really. Um, I do think I want a little bit more coverage, like in the center of my face, especially on my nose, which I struggle with all the time. But honestly, like that's really good coverage. Always make sure you drag down your neck. So I'm going to just set those down right quick. I actually really, like this is kind of comfortable to hold. So I'm just going to dot it around my nose. Uh, maybe a little more here, a little more here. Pretty much I guess like the center of my face. Um, I keep getting asked. So I did finally get, I've had like two or three orders through Jeffree Star's website. Maybe, yeah, three. Okay, that actually doesn't make sense, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. So I did order like three things through his site and he is based in California, so it is a little bit harder to get just with the restrictions still in place there. Um, so, I mean, not a big deal. But I did get like three of his Velour Liquid Lipsticks, which I always forget the name of. I've been trying really hard to remember it because everybody keeps asking me what I'm wearing and I'm like, uh, I don't know, Jeffree Star? So I've got so many people wanting to know like the darker color I wear, which is the, um, it's like a plum mauve and I really like it, but it's androgyny. Super beautiful. I mean, if you've never used his liquid lipsticks, they last like all day. I will say some of them last more than others. Okay. <clears throat> but I mean, honestly, they all still last a pretty good amount of time. I will say like my favorite shade is still um, Christmas cookie, which is the nude shade I wear pretty often. I'm not going to wear today. <laughs> I'm actually going to wear Calabasas today. Um, that one will literally last me. I wore it the other day. So it lasted me, I put it on at about three in the morning and I took it off at about 6.30 at night and it hadn't budged like at all. Um, his metallics, I have bought a couple of metallics from him or at least from his brand. Um, I'm a big Macari shopper. I'm just going through my beauty blender, it is damp and I'm just pressing everything into my skin. I'm not really dragging it. I'm just kind of using the sponge pressure I just set everything in. Uh. <laughs> um, but yeah, Christmas cookie is still hands down my favorite. I have Christmas cookie. I have androgyny, which I love. Um, I have Calabasas, which I'm going to use today, which is a really pinky color, which I typically don't use, but I also got one of his palettes in. So I did, well, I've got a few of his palettes in, but I do want to use it with that palette with the eye look I'm going to go with. And then I could have swore I had another color. Christmas cookie, androgyny, calabasas. Oh, I have poinsettia. Yeah, because I always want to say mistletoe, but it's not mistletoe. So I have poinsettia. I'm just kind of looking really close just to see like if I missed anything, where I want to go over again, like get really good under my eyes, cover up my old age. <laughs> um, I mean, so as just like a set down test, like, I really like this. I think it's super creamy, which I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about. Like, I do like that the liquid foundation from them, like after you put it on, you give it like a minute and it's like a powder finish. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not upset with that coverage at all. So I am going to put this, oh, I've already ripped it. That's good. It's brand new. It's also Jeffree. Um, so I'm going to go in, how pale am I looking? 
Put them up bronze. So I'm actually just gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110 Porcelain. Um, I actually really like this one just for setting down. I don't bake, just I don't think I need it. Um, and then I'm also gonna go in with my favorite brush ever, which is my It Cosmetics Love Beauty Fully. Um, this is a brush they made just for Ulta. It's actually super out of stock. I got mine on Macari for like 17 bucks. It's like 40 something. Don't pay that. Um, I actually saw a dupe for this at Target last night. Maybe next time at Target, I'll kind of keep an eye on it and see. Maybe I'll grab it and just test it out. But I love how big it is. But this is their all over powder brush. Um, I just kind of go in. I don't go super heavy and then always tap off. And then I just press first. Go back in, do it again, because I have a big face. Like if you have a smaller face, you may not need to go back in again. And then I do a little go in and do my neck. Because you always want to set everything. Like don't, maybe if you're like super dry skin, um, but even then you should still set because that's what's going to give you your hold. Um, and then I go in, I'm not dragging. I'm not doing anything but just bouncing it off my skin and just, checking her out in the in the camera here which y'all know I'm, I'm horrible about looking into your kind of visual section I just kind of stare at my own face in the camera um I love my light so I did break down and I bought a ring light it's one of the cheaper ones just because I don't know I kind of struggle with lighting um but I really like it it's got three color settings so I don't even remember what one of them's called but neutral and warm oh cool wow one of those days hmm. Um, and then each one has like 11 settings on it. And that just dribbled down my chin. That's why we keep our blender out. So I'm actually really liking this combo together. You see it took away the shine, which I do put highlighter on, but I don't want to look shiny. Nobody wants to look shiny. And that matte, uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless, I think it's called Matte and Poreless. It's actually really good and super inexpensive, guys. Come on. Like, you don't have to spend a lot of money on makeup. Like, there's some makeup I spend a lot of money on. Um, but it's makeup I've tested and I know the quality of it. Okay, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to contour first. So, actually, what I've been doing is I've actually been contouring with a... This is going to sound really weird. It took me so much research to figure out what this meant, but a gray toned brown eyeshadow. So I have the new Jeffree Star cremated palette, which is stunning. Um, anybody who knows me knows, especially if you knew me as a teenager, I was super gothic. Um, I was never a scene kid. I was never an emo kid, but I was definitely a gothic kid. Um, so for him to come out with this particular palette, let me see. Wait a second, like I hate opening these. I'm so terrified. Okay, A, the mirror. I still have the film on it because I don't want to take it off. It folds flat, which I love. But look at these shades. So I have been going in, I'm pretty sure it's this. Let me flip it my way. Yes, okay, so this is, it's called the Morgue. Um, I've been using this for my contour and it's like, it looks crazy when I put it on, you're about to see. But once I get it on, it looks so stunning. I have to find which brush. So I am going to go in and it's used to hell. I am sorry for anybody who's going to judge me for this. Um, my JS4 Jeffree and Morphe brush. I want to say it's like their highlighter blush or blending brush. And I'm just going to run it over my uh, dry makeup brush cleaner, which I need to clean. I'm actually going to clean all of my brushes today. So that's, I mean, it's a lot. I have like literally this one and this are just my small brushes. And then I have another one full of all my face brushes. I'm a bit obsessed. So I'm actually going to go in the morgue. I'm not going to go heavy. Like literally. And like the unique thing. You little Fiona. The unique thing about this palette is. This is his first palette he's put out. That is all eyeshadows. So typically when he puts a palette out. Like. I'm going to use another one of his palettes. But like for instance. His Bloodlust palette. So it actually is eyeshadows. And, and super bulky. But I love it. Um, but it's eyeshadows and pressed pigments. 
And it actually says on here, Pressed Pigment, Bleeding Heart, Take the Crown, High King Dungeon, Scandal Water, Blood Queen, Wet Jewel, Vivid Mood, Pink Magic, Beauty Sleep, and Betrayal are not intended for use around the immediate eye area. Um, and I understand the warning. I get it. I still use them. Um, so if you've watched any of my videos, which I don't know if a lot of you have or not, I just really like making those videos. I like being able to help people. Um, you know, I don't wear eyeliner. I actually use eyeshadow for eyeliner. So I've actually used some of those pigments and I will say you will get a burn off of them. So I'm going to look in my mirror while I do this. So I have control. Anybody who's new to contouring. So how I, I always did it. And I actually recently used a new method was I hollowed my cheeks. So, but I also saw that if you take your brush and press and feel where your cheekbone is, and you see it's right where I use it, but it's, I mean, it's easier than making fish lips today. And I didn't mess up my foundation. I feel a, like, hair on my chin. Okay. Makeup life, you know? So I'm going to go in. I've actually been doing contouring for so long that I don't have to hollow anymore. I don't have to do any tricks. Like, I do my makeup literally every day. I've even gotten to where, like, on the weekends, I do my makeup. So now I'm going to go down my nose. And like I said, this looks crazy when you put it on. Uh, but I learned this method from two different people on YouTube. Robert Welsh, who is a, a professional makeup artist. And then I really hope I get his name right. John McLean, maybe. I'll have to look it up. Um, and they both said, you know, and I do under my, I started doing under my lip because it really gives you like a really good pout. Um, again, I'm not using much. I'm barely pressing into this palette. And then I feel like I have a, like a longer chin. So I've been like doing like right here. Like I said, it looks crazy. John says it looks like I have like a skeleton chin, which is that a compliment? Cause I kind of feel like that's a compliment. Um, I had someone ask, like, they watch my video, does it take you that long every day? No, because in the mornings I'm half asleep, oh, beyond half asleep. And I just throw it on. Like, I don't have to talk. I don't have to describe anything. I don't want to give little tips. Um, I've been having to battle my husband for the bathroom every morning for some reason. So I'm actually going to put this away. This is my brand new palette. Um, it's not the newest. It is technically the newest one I've got from him. Um, but it's, it's so stunning. I was so happy I got this on the launch date. Like, I was literally on his site 15 minutes before launch, constantly refreshing everything. So. And then I go in and I just want to set this down because I know it's crazy looking. I, you know, whether it's, you know, brown or not, it is still gray tone. So I, I do know that it's crazy looking. But you just go around. I'm using my EOS, or I'm sorry, Eco Tool Full Powder Brush. I got this at Ulta years ago on clearance. If you can find it, I personally suggest it. It's, it's amazing. Super soft, cleans like a dream, which I typically only use it for powder anyway. Go down my nose and blur that down. Okay, and then the lip and then the chin. And I just kind of go through, so I'm gonna pick up my mirror again. But as you'll see, like doing it that way, I've actually noticed it really does shadow my face, which I mean, I think is stunning. It's nothing super drastic. So I do still go in with bronzer because I don't want to walk around with that just on my face. But I do go in with bronzer. Um, I use an outlet store in Orlando, Vineland Outlets. So I actually got this on a trip with my um, my dad and his fiance, and we were over there and they opened the cosmetic store after the whole COVID thing. And so this is the Mac. Oh wait, it does have the name on it. Ha! Thank God. Um, shiny, pretty things face compact for fair skin. Obviously, I'm fair skinned. Um, and it's just it's a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. And so I got some Morphe brushes. Unfortunately, they didn't come with names. It is just like their contour brush, slanted, firm. So I'm just going to pick up some of this beautiful color here. Always tap off your excess. And I'm just going to draw a line. And this is just going to add some warmth back to my face. You see that? Like, okay, but can you see the difference? Like, see the indentation, the little indentation there versus the other side? Like, I do love this shade. I think it's so pretty. I do feel like it does have a different tone than my other bronzers I've used in the best way. So anywhere I put that contour, I'm going to put this bronzer. 
So there is a difference between contouring and bronzing. I typically always, always, always just did two in one just to kind of eliminate a step. Um, but I've been kind of really getting into makeup and techniques. I watch so much YouTube, it's not even funny. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm getting it figured out. So that one's done. I'm actually, so I, I don't typically use the other shades in that one a whole lot. I do here and there. And then I'm just going to, again, take that Eco Tool all over powder brush, full powder brush, and just go in. I'm going to smooth that out. So I'm not someone who typically likes to be super warm toned. I'm so fair that I like to just look a little bit kissed and then just more natural than anything, which is really hard to do with the amount of makeup I put on. So. And you don't have to go over this many times. I do. I like it really defined and smoothed out and I just like messed up my nose. I'm not sure I'm gonna like this foundation for my nose. Um, I don't wanna use the brush again. Thankfully, that will be like the next to last time I go over my nose. So can you see that? Like it's separated. Like, that is one of my biggest pet peeves with foundation. I'm just gonna go back in with the stick on my finger and just pat it on. Um, like, I have so much foundation that moves from my nose, even with using the base, even with using a super drying um, in my lip. Okay, maybe I don't like this stick foundation. Hmm. It's cool, though. I mean, I just have to run and do some chores today. Like, I have to go get my oil changed. It's fine. And then I've got to run, unfortunately, to Walmart because they have some stuff I need that I can't find anywhere else. Um, I've hated Walmart since this whole COVID thing. Um, blush today. I'm trying to think of my eye look. Okay, so I'm going to go in with just my actually unique. Um, it's called their Moonstruck Blusher, which is just blush. And I use it in the shade Sisterly. So it's like this super soft pink look. It does have a highlight to it. Um, I'm just going to go with my old brushes, uh, my Danielle powder brush. And um, so I swirl and then I swirl into the lid to distribute the powder, but I still tap. And then one thing I actually learned very recently, don't smile when you do your blush. You can, especially if you're just learning. Um, but what you want to do is like see where you want your blush and take it there. I try not to use this blush heavily because it actually does have a highlight to it and highlight actually accentuates texture and where I have larger pores it accentuates my texture and I don't want that. Isn't that so pretty? It really is. So I'm going to go back in. Same thing for the other cheek. I just kind of tap it all the way up to my hairline where, where I want the blush. So you see when I smile it's on the cheeks but if I were to put it here it would be here. So. I'm just going to hold like my finger right here. This is where I would want it, which it is. I don't want it there. Nobody wants it there. And then I just kind of swirl, blend it into your contour. You're going to get this really beautiful gradient look with it. I just, I think it's such a pretty blush. And I just, you know, again, I got it on Macari. They were out of the shade online. I didn't want to spend a lot because blush is not something I ever spend a lot of money on. Um, I've also been taking like literally the smallest amount and doing that and that I shouldn't have gone over my nose hmm. it's fine and just kind of blending it actually gives you like more of like a, a youthful look we could all use a little youth I'm uh I am knocking on 30s door so oh look at this mm. okay so I'll have to figure out exactly what's going on with my nose. This is not, I would say this probably isn't a product thing. I've had this issue for probably like a, about two years now where I went from having fully dry skin to oily skin and I'm still trying to figure everything out. <sighs> C'est la vie. Okay, I'm going to go throw on my brows really quick. So I just use my ELF Bite Size Shadow. I use my Jeffree. <sighs> brush to do this in my Mesa brushes. This is like, this is literally an every morning struggle for me is trying to find like a single particular brush. 
So this is the Jeffrey JS7. So it's like the spoolie on the one and the liner on the other. I'm just gonna use you to do it because I've actually gotten pretty good at this. I don't do anything fancy to my brows. My brows actually grow really good on their own. Um, I only wax my brows like twice a year. Um, but I do wanna fill them in just a little. And then I kind of like, so I go in like this and then I slant. So I'm gonna slant and just follow the natural line. And then I'm gonna underline it. I was gonna say overline it, but I don't wanna overline it. I just kinda of wanna follow what's natural and take it to the tail. But then I go back in with that spoolie and disperse. Super fancy, right? And actually my mom, she like called me one day and she's like, hey, I need you to order me this off Amazon because she doesn't have Prime. And I was like, whatever. And so I ordered it for her and I was like, why don't you just use eyeshadow? That's what I do. No, 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 it doesn't work. So her product gets to my house and she comes in and she goes and uses it and there's literally no difference, literally. And so I brought her in here and I found a shade of eyeshadow to match her eyebrows because I have 500,000 eyeshadows. Not literally, not yet. I'm getting there. Ooh, I overdrew it just, just a little bit, but that's okay. It's actually a super easy fix. So I'm gonna go back in with my little tiny beauty blender and my stick. And we're good to go. I'm also gonna put shadow on it, so I don't even know why I bothered. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much all I use this for. I've used it for my eyes a couple times for like a really quick look. So, it works. Um, and then highlighter. So I actually bought this highlighter on um, Amazon because it's a dupe for another product I wanted to try, but they didn't have a shade I liked. Uh, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Bloom Time. So it's like this really pretty rose gold pinky highlighter. So I actually just, I don't want to flip you off. I, I do have a blister on my finger. Mm, yeah. Literally got that right before I started filming. Um, and I just kind of take my, my middle finger and then I swirl and tap. And then I just very, very lightly put it here. And I also sent him a text that said, I'm filming. Please do not disturb. Thank you. Went unheated. But I'm going to stop this video for now and come back and do my eyes. So I will see you back in a few.